Hello. Welcome to the show. Um, what's good? How are you feeling? It's been a bit of a second, hasn't it? Sorry if I sound a bit weird. Not not just because you haven't heard my voice in like two years, but also I'm feeling a bit ill at the moment. Shit, I haven't like talked to a camera in such a long time. And the last time I did this in like 2020, I actually had a script for what I was going to say. I actually knew what I wanted to say. But now I have absolutely no clue. No clue whatsoever. <sighs> if only I had anything to talk about. If only I had any personality left. Uh. So difficult. This is so difficult. Um, I've just got to will this video into existence, and I think the only way I can do that is by sitting down with a camera in front of me, just recording, and it'll come. It'll come. It's, it's just gonna come. <laughs> this whole time I've been like, I think I love being on camera, and I love doing things, and love being happy, and being seen, and being admired. But this feels fucking awful, you know? This feels fucking awful. I, I, I've lost it. I've lost it. How did I used to do this? I feel so fucking insecure right now, you know? And it's not just because of, you know, the full stomach and the, and the butterflies and the, and the anxiety. It's more than just the anxiety. It's like, who's watching this? Hello, hello, my test one, two. I don't know what to say. What are we making? Sagaloo. I actually am following this recipe weirdly that I got from Simply Cook. My mum got these. Don't buy this. It's actually expensive as fuck. My mum sent me it randomly. It was pretty good in the sense that it made me try cooking different things that I don't usually cook. It literally is just like little spice mixes, like three little tubs of spices and stuff. So like it gives you a recipe so like you can make it and you can find out the ingredients of the stuff, but it doesn't tell you how to make like the mixes that they give you. My, that's my rating. I also don't really like the way that they tell you to do things because a lot of the time the way that they cook things isn't like the way that I would cook things. Like the order that I do this in isn't the same but like I'll, it's kind of inspired by this because I liked it when I did it you heat up oil like quite a bit of oil in the pan and then you want to add whole spices I added these cumin seeds you don't want the heat to be too hot because then they'll burn like immediately when you put them in but you want to cook them a little and then I added chopped white onion I have this Indian spice mix the recipe is actually from Glebe Kitchen, but it's basically just like a load of spices that normally go into a curry. Ground coriander, some garam masala, Kashmiri chili powder, turmeric, and a bit of salt. You want like the spices to cook like in the oil, but like not burn them because if you burn it, it will get rid of all flavor and you'll have to start totally from scratch. So you don't want the heat to be too high, but you want to kind of cook the spices, balloon them in the oil so like the flavor is better. First thing you did. Any whole spices should go in first, then onion, then I put the spice mix, and then I put ground ginger and some chopped garlic. It's good to have garlic paste as well. I added a little water. You want to like lower the heat. It might spit, so be careful for that. I just put it on like the lowest heat. These potatoes that are going to boil up, they're chopped, not that small just like whatever you want but yeah these just need to like parboil be careful not to overcook you want the bits to be like cooked but not too soft yeah you don't want to be as soft as me yeah exactly also because we're doing the breads the pashwari naan I have that in the oven here improving flour sugar salt yeast non dough a lot of time has yogurt but I didn't do that it's quite soft it needs to be netted with more flour. Now we got some spinach. We even legally bought this. 
I legally buy everything. Now you gotta boil your kettle, fill your kettle with some good British tap water. The spinach is going into a colander. I'm gonna use basically this whole pack of spinach. It's gonna shrink quite a lot. Only about half of the packet fits. Basically just gonna pour boiling water over it so that it wilts. What's your favorite Nicki Minaj track? I don't know. That's a tough one. Flour doesn't mold, does it? We are filling these nans with what? Sultanas. It says you want to use 25 grams of this in the recipe I'm using for the naan, but maybe I want a lot more. Ground almonds, 75 grams. This is desiccated coconut. 25 grams. Of Two tablespoons of caster sugar. And I think the recipe just says to do it like dry like this. I find it kind of hard when it's just dry. I think that I'm gonna add some water to this. Yeah, just like one half of that. Yeah, you want it like as thin as possible. You probably don't want any more than that because you want enough for the last one as well. And then you want to close the dough over the middle. So in here we're going to do the nan. I'm Livy. We just made Sagalu and Peshwari Naan. Like and subscribe. So I was just editing that piece that you just saw and I was thinking, should I find a bit where Liv doesn't drop the Sagalu all down the side of the frying pan? But then I thought, no. I want to make it seem like Liv is genuinely a mediocre cook. You join me on uh, the floor of my friend Finn's house. With this beautiful little cat, would you like to introduce yourself? Sadly, Stan does not want to exercise her human right of free speech. But I'm sure she'll let us know when she has something relevant to say. Because Stan is a strong woman, and she deserves your respect. And she will be heard when she wants to be heard. Do you like my outfit? I thought I'd gone for something pretty cool. I like the colour coordination I've got going on with the shoes and the hoodie. I'm trying something new with wearing sort of like a skirt over my sweatpants. So let me know if this fit is working. Oh my god, did you hear the dog? I tell you what, when interacting with the dog next door, I offered my hand to it to let it sniff. And it sniffed and then barked at me and I was very scared. And that's a shame, because I really thought I had a very good rapport with animals. See this hair evidence? But I don't think I've got off to a very good start with, um, with the little puppy. It's not even little. It's big. It's a big dog. It's a really big dog. I love huge dogs so much. They're so, like, goofy. I want to get a big dog so bad. I really want to get a whippet. I have to say, I'm finding sitting in front of this camera a lot less difficult than the camera I sat in front of right at the start of this video. But you've got to understand that our whole month has lapped in the space of seven minutes. And I think you can clearly see by my posture that I'm a lot more relaxed in in this space than I was in the space you saw me coming from. So what have I been up to recently? Well, I've just been trying to make videos. And by making videos, I mean sitting in my living room watching Formula 1 2005. Here's my favourite moment from Formula 1 2005 so far. You've been practising with that pit lane speed limiter. Yeah, I have. I've just been imagining it's your nipple, so I'm being a bit more gentle with it when I uh, take my finger off it at the end of the pit lane. Thank you very <laughs> much, David. Back to you. Yes, yeah, thanks very much indeed for that one, David. That's God bless David Coulthard, and God bless Channel 4 for keeping him on our screens. I'd also like to give a special anti-God bless to the Conservative Party for trying to sell Channel 4, and a double anti-God bless to the Conservative Party for then flip-flopping on that issue. If only the Conservative Party were as committed to any other ideal as they are committed to greed. 
Stan. Stan. Do you like the Tories? She's not even going to dignify that with a response. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here, but if you have any comments, any suggestions, any questions, any people you'd like to see me collaborate with, especially in the Leeds area, please reach out to me. I'm sure there's a way around my face right now to interact. I'd like to shout out my friend Livy for cooking with me and making some sick-ass sagaloo with me. It was fucking delicious, I gotta tell you. And I gotta give a special thanks to Finbar for letting me vlog on the couch. All I gotta say is thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now.